Okay, in this video, we want to factor this expression right here. And whenever we have four terms, it's always a big red flag that we have to solve this problem in a very specific way involving a type of grouping. And so what we're going to do is group the first two pieces and the last two pieces. So we'll have parentheses x raised to 4 minus 2x raised to 3. We close our parentheses. We put a plus sign. Parentheses, we have 5x squared minus 10x, and we close our parentheses. Next, we factor these two pieces, and we could take out an x raised to 3. x raised to 3 times what gives us x raised to 4? Just x. And x raised to 3 times what will give us negative 2x cubed? So negative 2. Plus, now we have these two pieces, and we see what can we take out. Um, they both have an x, and you could divide both pieces by 5. So we'll say 5x. 5x times what is 5x squared? Just x. And lastly, 5x times what is negative 10x, so negative 2. At this point, we see what's identical. We have an x minus 2, we have an x minus 2. Because it's identical, we get to copy it. So we'll have x minus 2, close parentheses, parentheses, x cubed plus 5x. Now, for this problem, there's one more step, because here we have an x cubed, here we have a 5x. So you could take out an x, and we would get x parentheses x squared because x times x squared is x cubed plus 5 because x times 5 is 5x close parentheses parentheses x minus 2 close parentheses and this right here is our final answer now if you notice in the beginning of this problem each piece had an x so in the beginning if we wanted to you could have factored out an x both methods would work 